You are now listening to the Life in Football podcast. Check out the new website, lifeinfootball.com. Once again, the website is lifeinfootball.com. Thanks for listening. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. It's life in football. We are life in football. Welcome to the Life and Football Podcast, baby. I'm your host, Mike Fee. And this is your co-host, Colin Moore. And we're loving life and enjoying football. Yes, sir. Today, we're going to talk about getting them grades, getting that schoolwork, and most of all, staying on task. A lot of times, when you in that class, and a lot of us, we just be want to just get by, man. Um, and we got to get out of them habits, man, especially as football players. You already got a certain um stigma on you like far as a jock and you don't want that on you man make sure you put all your effort not just um doing that but doing your internships checking out what what the teacher talking about um for other things in your career that you can get mentors or other people that can help you like what i used to always do when i was in college and this helped me out a lot I always hit the math lab, the um the writing labs. And those those are things that when you go in, it's almost like they got a centralized area and, and you go into the um room and you have other people, but these people they assist you with your paper and not write it for you. They'll just look at it, oh no, you need to change this, you need to change that for sentences or the math lab, hey. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, this wrong, this wrong. Now we can pull this up on a computer and help you for us on this subject. And I used to always do that in college. I did it at Israel College and I did it at Alabama State. What you got, Simo? Hey, no matter what grade y'all in, no whatever grade level listening to this, either in elementary, middle school, high school, whoever getting their hands on this college, get your grades, man. As in. If you're smart enough to get the A, just because God giving you that ability to make an A easy, do it. If you're on a B level, study hard enough to get the A. If you're on a C level, study hard enough to get the A. Whatever level you on, go for the A. Because think about it. You don't ever want to go nowhere looking like a, a DRF. You don't want to go nowhere smelling like a DRF. You don't want to go nowhere talking like a DRF. So if you don't want to operate in a DRF or even at a C level, you don't want to walk around average. You don't want to talk average. You don't want your clothes to be average. You don't want to think average. So go for everything that's above average and maxing it out because that's going to benefit you in everything you do. But most of the time we sit back and we'll settle for the C. We'll settle for a B. Don't do no more settling. Go exactly for what you want. Handle your business. And listen, try to make that 4.0. Why, why wouldn't you want to make it? And then, if, like he said, if you were interning, intern for something you truly want to do. Don't just be interning because mama said you're supposed to be a lawyer. <laughs> you're supposed to be in a teacher. Go out there and Really get your feet wet. It's about four or five things that you think you would want to do outside of your sports. That way you already know you could figure out if you love it or not early and in advance. And then you can keep dominating in your sports and in your classroom. And already know once the sports is over and you achieved everything you can in it, you can also go achieve something in the dreams that you have outside of that sport. So just go dominate. And everything that you do, and then you won't have to worry about, oh, man, I, I, I didn't make the best grades. I wish I could have got this scholarship instead of having a loan. I wish Coach wouldn't have uh, kicked me off the team because I ain't want to go to study hall. I wish I didn't have to go to study hall three 
four years out of five because you ain't take your grades serious. You know, get your work, and you ain't never even got to be in study hall, but that probably that one mandatory semester a year or wherever you at, just handle that business. Hey, y'all heard Simo dropping that good knowledge, that good info. Get your work, man. And stay on task, man. Go ahead and do what you're supposed to do because graduation is nice. That's one thing I got the experience when I was at Alabama State. And looking back at it, I should have did it at Ellsworth, man. Just went on here and walked because you done put forth that effort and time. And sometimes we be disrespectful not going to these certain ceremonies. And I I love it being recognized at Alabama State. Um, they would have a convocation during the spring, and you would win awards for uh, your GPA. And at Alabama State, I was able to maintain a 3.5, and I got an award every spring semester. And you would see the kids who would be in there. And it wasn't a lot of athletes. I mean, for us on the male side, it was a lot of female athletes. But every year I was at Alabama State, I was able to go in there in that spring and um, I got invited, and they gave me awards. I don't even know what I did with them now, but it was good to be able to attend those different um, um, events and win them different items for academics. But I'm going to leave y'all how I always leave y'all. Keep your head up and not down, or else you'll fall to the ground. This is Life of Football Podcast. Catch you next time. <laughs>